Hi, I'm Mark with Pro Acoustics, and this is Tech Talk, and today we're going to be talking about assisted listening systems. First, we're going to talk about assisted listening devices, or ALDs. These are basically any device that can help you improve your hearing and increase intelligibility uh, between two persons or an event, with the exception of things like your hearing aids. Another thing we're going to talk about are assisted listening systems. Assisted listening systems are ALDs, or a collection of ALDs, that are used to help you improve intelligibility and better hear and understand what's going on in a space, particularly in larger venues. Assisted listening systems are oftentimes a system that will help you meet certain requirements under the ADA or American with Disabilities Act. It helps to improve communication, helps folks with maybe a hearing disability or that might be hard of hearing using already a listening device. Um, most ALS systems are covered under some portion of the ADA. Uh, while not all of them are, anything that can help with assisted listening, if they've had the chance to have it reviewed by the ADA, they'll often stick a stamp of approval on it. And if you ever have a question about it, you can just ask, is this ADA approved? And one of the engineers, at least with our company, can definitely help you get there. So how do assisted listening devices work? Basically what you get is a, you end up with a transmitter system and a receiver system. Transmitter system is going to be a box that will take the signal from, say, your public speaker, and it's going to amplify that signal and send it to a receiver, similar to what I've got here in my hand. That receiver will then plug into, say, a set of headphones. Um, maybe they've got a mic on it so you can do two-way communication, and then that will increase the intelligibility of the conversation and allow a person to better understand what's being said. An advantage to these systems, and another reason why they're so popular, is you can amplify the sound without it disturbing the people next to them. If I've got this plugged into my belt with a headset on, I can turn the volume up on it and better understand what the speaker is saying without disturbing the person next to me who might not have any issue hearing what's being said at all. Assisted listening devices can also be used in conjunction with hearing aids or other hearing devices like cochlear implants or, like I said, hearing aids. So, where are some places that I'm going to find assisted listening devices? The Americans with Disability Act requires them in public spaces. So if you're going to a government building, say a courtroom, uh, legislative chambers, auditoriums, things like that, you're oftentimes going to be presented, or you'll see a tab that says ADA. It usually have like a hearing sign on it, which just looks like a little bit of sound radiating out. Uh, find that. Typically nearby there is somebody who can give you a, an assisted listening device. Other places that you might find them in are in schools, warehouse complexes. A lot of folks that do tours like zoos, they'll have assisted listening devices. Sometimes they'll have two-way communication on there, which means not only can you hear better, but then you're able to speak more clearly without having to shout, say, if you're in a large group. Because like with this headset here, you'll have a microphone attached. You just speak into the mic, the person on the other end, either the group leader or the whole group can oftentimes hear you. It kind of depends on the settings and what system you have. There are several different types of list assisted listening systems out there. Manufacturers that deal with microphones will typically have their own version of an assisted listening device. Brands like Shure, Sennheiser, Williams Sound, Listen Technology, Toa, all of these brands out here have their own version of assisted listening or tour guide systems, and they can be a wide variety of different styles and types. So different kinds of systems that you will find. The hearing loop system. A hearing loop or an induction loop is basically a piece of wire that you will either, most of the time they will string it along the baseboards in your floor all the way around the room and it will take the sound and amplify, amplify it via an electromagnetic signal to transmit the sound to one of the receivers. A lot of advantages to the hearing loop system is that you can send it directly to a receiver. That receiver will usually be connected to a, micro, uh, to a headphone or a headset system, uh, which allows you to move more freely with inside the space. If you have a system that extends out through a large, wide area, you don't necessarily have to worry about the distance limitations of what you would get with an FM system or line of sight with an IR system. As long as you're within that loop, you're receiving signal and you can hear. Another system we're going to talk about is going to be an FM system or frequency modulated. Sometimes you'll hear them 
uh, described as radio devices. These are probably the most popular system on the market. You see these used a lot of times because they work in concert with your hearing aids. Most hearing aids have a frequency designated inside of them that is below what you get on, say, your car stereo, but these assisted listening devices will play out to that frequency. And what that allows you to do is if you have a hearing aid, you can walk into a room, make sure that your FM is set on. Sometimes you have to go into a phone app and select it to turn it on. Um, but once it's engaged, you're going to be hearing directly into your hearing aid. If you don't have a hearing aid, you can use, once again, the body pack to receive the signal. Usually these will work anywhere from 300 to 500 feet away. It just kind of depends on your transmitter. Um, and, but as long as you're within that space, you're going to receive the signal, you're going to get amplified sound, and you're going to have clear communication. Some of the issues that may come up with an FM system, uh, for instance, is that unlike a loop wire where it's restricted to that space that the wire is in, FM signals are easily able to go through walls. So what you end up with is the possibility of a lot of interference. If you have a lot of FM channels in the area, you've got a lot of TV broadcasters, or you have a ton of cell phones. I mean, all of these things add to that digital noise, so that can reduce the effectiveness of it. Um, and just because it can transmit out, you might interfere with somebody else's signal as well. The last system type that we're going to talk about today is going to be an IR system or infrared. Infrared systems work by having a transmitter and receiver that are in line of sight of each other. They have to see each other for them to work but they're very efficient whenever that line of sight is uh, achieved. With a lot of the IR systems, what you will have is a, it looks like a hockey puck. You'll either mount it to a ceiling or to a desk, and in 360 degrees, it sends out this infrared signal that you can't see, but as soon as that transmitter, it's usually a pendant mic or a handheld transmitter, as long as that is making a connection with that, that signal is going to get through to the device. They work well in smaller spaces. I don't recommend them in spaces with large groups, uh, mainly because anything that gets in front of the IR signal is going to interfere with it and reduce the likelihood that the transmission is going to happen. Another place that you might want to consider using a infrared system would be if you have a place where you consider confidentiality uh, an important thing. You can get an IR system, and because it can't go through walls and it's not easily picked up unless you're right there in the room, you don't have to worry about the conversations getting out to people who don't need to hear it at that time. Something to consider with IR systems as well. IR systems need to be used in a room that aren't too bright. You get too much light in there, and that can interfere with the signal. So if you've got nothing but glass walls, 360 degrees, and the sun's sitting right outside the window, it might not be the best time to use that system. All right, that's all that we have today on assisted listening systems. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like and a thumbs up. If you have any questions about assisted listening or any other audio needs, go ahead and reach out to us at proacoustics.com. I'm Mark. This has been Tech Talk. Have a great day.